I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies and boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's a double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion, that's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here at the episode 82 of our Fire Emblem Three Houses Let's Play, and guys, if you missed the last episode, we made it here to the Throne of Knowledge, trying to get some sort of revelation, since uh, we found out that we were kind of a goddess, um, obviously we just finished the DLC two episodes ago, so it's like the first mission back with our, uh, our main story here. Um, as you can see here, we did most of the missions so far. We're trying to protect the crests in these coffins. Uh, we killed all the people that stole crests so far. And now we're just kind of finishing everybody off. We also killed the like, two umbral beasts that were here. Um, so unless there's an additional phases to this fight, which there might be, you never know. Um, we're almost done with this mission. So, let's go ahead and move... Move Yohane up a little bit. Yeah, she'll be alright. Move Leone up a little bit as well. And over here is fine, so we're gonna end our turn and let them uh, move in on us a little bit. Nice try. Good dodge. I uh, could've dodged, but that's alright. Guess what, bud? I can attack back and I hit just a little bit harder. <laughs> you can't compete with me. Alright, Lawrence gets to level 22. And. A couple of mages popping up. Some big knights popping up. Okay, so we're good there. Uh, let's go ahead and have you take you out. I call that a win. Easy clap. Let's see. You're fine where you're at. Well, I can actually just retreat away from the mages. Yeah, that's fine. Can Yohane get to the mages? She can. I kinda would like her to kill one of the mages. No hesitation. Oh. <laughs> Not only did she kill this mage, she absolutely desecrated it. There is no mage left, it's dead. Um, we'll let... Can let's... Yeah, she can. Perfect. We'll take you down. Can you kill a little fireball? Braxis, that's a pretty strong move. 39. Luna, she doesn't have fireball, huh? What'd you swarm Z? You underestimated me. Because then I can have Catherine come up here and take the archer out. Fighting is what I do. Alright. That's easy. And then if we come over here. Hmm, I don't want to go about this. She can't really quite get close to take anybody at all. I can have an archer fight, which I'm not fond of, but I could do it. I could move in here and take out one of these mages. Potentially. Yeah, we could. Let's do it. Missed. Great dodge. Hell of a cartwheel. Boring. All right, so Shamir takes him out. Uh, there's no way you're gonna be able to take him out. Yeah. I have to take the knight out with him. Naturally. Let's see, the mage is coming after Samir at a 50% chance hit rate. You're coming after Hilda. Let's see if you can't take him out. Well, tit for tat. Never underestimate an outside. Alright, Cloud gets level 23. Life. Let's see. Okay, that's perfectly fine with me. Hilda. Well, there's really there's nothing over here, right? So like, I could just have Hilda move like here. I guess get ready to fight these guys. Wait, can she not get up here from? No, there's. 
I thought those were stairs. That's a pillar. Oh, okay. So we're gonna have to go back with her. So you have to go up and around. That makes sense, I guess. That's fine. And of course we have Marianne here. Uh, she can hit somebody with a psychic. I mean, nobody in her range really needs it, so I'm just gonna hold off. Got the Catherine here, not a big deal. Got the Claude also not a very big deal. That's probably gonna kill him. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Claude don't play. All right, so we have Metodi, the Flame Emperor, and then a regular mage. All right, we'll start moving you up here. Um, I'm starting to call you on up. He's a volunteer, that's fine with me. Although Lawrence can heal. In fact, no, we'll move him up and then we'll just heal him as we go. Um, Shamir. Alright, then over here. Who needs to level up the most? Uh, Leonie's at 21. I mean, they're all in the 20s. I guess Catherine could just take them out. <laughs> Boom! Who's Truly next? Impressive. Well, let Scythia heal Catherine back up. Yeah. Good idea. I'll have Miriam go this way, I guess. Don't really want to use a psychic on Yoni, so I'm just going to hold off. Yoni can move on up. I literally just come in here and just hit <laughs> him with that creator sword, damn near kill him. I could kill him. She probably uses it sparingly though. She can also heal. I mean it's one HP, but why not? Yeah, so nice of you. Alright. Then on this side. Ready and willing. Let's go. Let's see. We move here, I can have Lawrence move up here and heal. Oh, thanks for that. Move you on up, Shamir. Then Hilda. Make them suffer. Oh, he's using his uh, gambit. Didn't work out so well for him. Mage's coming this way. And big boy's coming this way, okay. It's fine with me. Who do I want to uh, get some EXP? Well, Hilda's a little far away, but she can use the training bow and kill him, so I'm just gonna do it. You lost to me? <laughs> you lost to me? I'll heal her back up. Thanks. a javelin at, or I can train but I don't have a javelin with her okay. now, this boy's got some armor on him his resistance is 11 okay our defense is 22 okay but I could gambit both of these guys I think I will <laughs> I love that Anna joins the gambit when she's like a, an assist character or whatever they're called. I want to move you to the side. Huh? Yeah, 
I'll move you to the side so uh, the Sithy can maybe finish him off. Use my asthma. Easy clap. So he gets a level 22. Alright, move Marianne up. Let's go after Leone. How much damage are you doing to her? Ah, not a lot. Okay. I mean, I can move her up. But I don't think it's worth it. We'll just let her wait. Let him move in on us. Dodge, very good. Nice, double hit. Skill up. Lance, jab. Okay. So I was thinking maybe Marianne or Lysithia could finish him. Oh, he, he hits back, huh? Interesting. If I use Sephirum, I win. Let's do it. Counterattack. Dodged, very good. Is Lysithia the MVP of this fight? She might be. She might be the MVP of this one. She did quite a bit. Authority level four. So is this some Nice, we got a rusted bow. We got a knowledge gem. What the hell is this? A mysterious gem that supports skill acquisition. Increases the amount of skill points earned. Oh, that's kind of cool. Advanced seals are always handy. We'll take it. Very cool. Oh, Lauren. Lauren's did quite a bit as well. So, yeah, definitely deserving. Motivation is maxed out. Definitely deserves the MVP as well. The Scythia's right up there with them, though. I would say. You have disappointed me. Wait, what? What? Edelgard? <laughs> did, did they even like unmask her? Like she just shows up unmasked? What the hell? That a descendant of House Heresbelk would dare betray the Holy Church. Professor, kill Edelgard at once. She is a danger to all of Fodland. Such a rebellious heart Man. cannot be Got allowed a killer? to keep beating. I have achieved my objective. I will retreat. Farewell, Professor. If we meet again, it will be on the battlefield. Come, Hubert. To flee is futile, wicked girl. The Church of Seros will raise its entire army against you until you have been captured and punished! You have defiled the Holy Tomb, dishonored the Goddess, and humiliated your brethren. That crime will never be erased. Even if you burn in the eternal flames and spill all of your blood into the Goddess's soil. Come, Jesus. Professor. Let us return and decide upon our next course of action. I'm not exactly on friendly terms with the princess, but I do have a few questions for her. Edelgard said that the crest stones represent power. That means hmm. she knows how to use them. True. She almost certainly knows other secrets of Fodlin as well. Once things calm down a bit, there's a lot more that Rhea needs to tell us. I just hope there's still time. I have this strange feeling that history is being written. That an age of anarchy is upon us. Let's hope I'm mistaken. I wonder why Edelgard uh, betrayed the church. It's interesting. The leaders of the church have misused its creed to fulfill their true desire. To rule the world. They have fooled the people of Fodland. Long ago, they divided the empire to create a kingdom. And then, divided that kingdom to create an alliance. They did all of this to make the masses bicker amongst themselves. They caused instability in order to reinforce their own authority. They gathered gold and lived in extravagance. How? By preying on the devotion of those who wished for the goddess's salvation. Those corrupt hypocrites cannot lead Fodlin to true peace. 
Their foul belief system must be torn asunder so that true wisdom may finally prevail. And so, I have decided, by order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hressfeld, the Empire hereby declares war on the wow. Church of Seros. Wow. Interesting. Let us recount the situation as it stands, Professor. After you returned from the Holy Tomb, the Adrestian Empire declared war upon the Church of Seros, as well as our allies. Edelgard demanded her own father relinquish the throne, and then assumed the position of Emperor. She has deemed the Church of Seros to be an evil of this world, and is calling upon the people of Fodland to help her tear it down. I must discuss our response to this declaration with the Archbishop after the knights return from their investigation. Until then, watch over the students. See that they remain calm. I heard what happened, Teach. The princess, well, the emperor now. She really did it, didn't she? The lords and dukes of both the kingdom and the alliance have been called out, and now have to choose between the church and the empire. The seed of conflict was always there. And now we find ourselves in the middle of a war that will tear Fodlin in two. The Empire is rash, but I never thought it would come to this. How could something like this happen? I hope everyone back home is safe. I'm sure it's mass confusion at home right now. My brother must be worried sick about me. Let's calm down. You're absolutely right, Teach. I'm sure a lot of us are worried about our homes, but all we can do for now is prepare for battle. And tread carefully. Man, that's crazy. I wonder what would happen if we uh, recruited her to our class. Cause, like, because we can, right? But, oh wow! To war. White clouds, lone moon. To war. I wonder. I wonder what happens with Dimitri as well. Since he's the leader of the other house. Together, the people of Fodlin relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike. But each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger. And yet, a lone moon still haunts the sky. A silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. Alright, 5,000 gold. Alright, so we're still able to do monthly activities. Although it looks like we only get to do it for two weeks instead of four weeks. Unforgivable! I cannot fathom that the Adrestian Empire would embark on such a violent course of action. The fault is my own. I failed to see the wickedness within Edelgard's heart. She plotted with ill-meaning strangers to achieve her own ambitions and defiled the holy tomb. If that is not wicked, or perhaps her ambitions are even grander than we know. Perhaps she is planning to make herself a false deity by demonizing the Church of Seros. Adrestia received its very name through a divine oracle. To injure the goddess is a sin most foul that shall not be forgiven nor forgotten. We must stop the Empire. And quickly. I have returned, Rhea. Welcome back, Shamir. Were you able to discern the Empire's movements? Their main troops are marching towards Garrick Mach. It is said that they will join forces with Edelgard's army and arrive within two weeks. Two weeks? That is not enough time. It will require all of our efforts just to prepare our defenses before then. We must send notice to all surrounding villages at once. We must order the residents of Garrick Mach to flee for their lives. It will be done. Professor, if our enemy invades the monastery, I will have no choice but to stand upon the battlefield. If something happens to me, I am entrusting my sacred duties to you. What? You must have guessed it by now. 
the truth of who you are. Or perhaps I should say, your lost memories are surely beginning to return. Is this a foreshadowing of her dying? I have acted all these long years as a mere proxy for you. But the duty is yours, and yours alone. Interesting. Only you can lead the people of Fodland. Rhea, mm. please. You must tell me all that you know, I beg of you. <sighs> that one is the progenitor god. Progenitor god, huh? In a sense, our dear professor is a vessel. One who carries the power of the progenitor god within. In time, the vessel will become one with the power contained within, and the progenitor god shall return to this world. I see. I trust that you are aware of the questionable nature of this experiment. But I suppose there is no turning back. I ask that you help our friend. And in doing so, help her. I am waiting and hoping for the moment when our creator rules this wayward land once more. I am sorry, but I cannot do this. I am not certain it is just. Brother, I believe in my professor. Aww, good I old flame. No flame? Were you eavesdropping? I understand. You owe your life to the professor after all. And we cannot leave behind one who may be our brethren. You have my gratitude, Sedith, and you as well, Flame. As followers of the Progenitor God, it is up to us to see our mission through. Very interesting developments in this episode. Whose birthday is it? Constance's birthday. I'll give her some flowers. You have allies who qualify for special exams. Take a look at certifications to review which they can take. But note that these things require the Abyssian exam pass, which can be required only from within the Abyss. Nice. So we have a lot that we could do here. We can explore, seminar, battle, or rest. Marketplace certifications, obviously. So these are the special ones, huh? Advanced. <laughs> Give it a shot. Let's go! What? Welcome to being a warlock, my friend. Um, advanced. Or the enlightened one, of course. Okay, so we have Claude. This will be level 30 for Master. Scythia. Let's see, Marianne. Can make her a bishop. Wow, very lucky. Twice in a row. Very cool. Sure. A Hilda. I want to make her a war monk. So. Or a war cleric. Is that what it was? 
No. Don't worry about her later. Uh, the Yoni. I need more pa- uh, yeah, I need more passes, so. More cleric. So for her... I just want to make her... Not really none of those, really. Well, I'll deal with that later. Felix. Luis, Catherine, yeah, we'll deal with these later, because I guess we'll be exploring next episode. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'm the Mark Daniels, bidding you farewell, peace, and one love, bang!